I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting brilliant questions. Here is a question from one of our subscribers. It is based on particle motion calculus. Let us see how to solve such a question and I hope many viewers will benefit from this. A particle moves along a parabola y equals to x square in such a way that its x coordinate in meters increases at the rate of 10 meters per second. How fast is the angle of inclination theta of the line joining the particle to the origin changing when x equals to 3? You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let's try to uh, sketch the scenario first. So let me show the parabola path, which is let's say like this, right? So we are talking about x equals to three, which is definitely going to be in coordinate one. So let's make the axis. So that becomes the x-axis. This is your y-axis. Now both are in meters. So when x is in meters, we know y is equal to x square. So both will be in meters, right? So this is also in meters. We are given here that the value of x coordinate is increasing at the rate of 10 meters per second. That means we are given that dx dt, rate of change of x with respect to time is 10 meters per second, right? And what we need to find is how fast is the angle of inclination theta of the angle joining the particle to the origin is changing. So let's sketch that part. So let's say from the origin we have a line joining like this. So let this be the position when x is 3 for us. So if x is 3, y value will be 3 square, right, which is 9. So this point will be 3 for x, x square, y value will be 9. Okay? So that becomes uh, the coordinate point. The angle theta is right there. So that is what we are interested in. We need to find what is d theta dt when x is equal to 3. Is that clear to you, right? So this is what we need to figure out. So we can actually relate this in terms of uh, the angle itself. Let us say we call this as y and this is x. So in that case, we can say tan theta will be the ratio of y and x. So we can write this as y over x. However, y is x squared, so I can write this as x squared over x, which means tan theta is equal to x. Now we can differentiate with respect to time on both the sides. So, so we can say d dt for tan theta equals to dx dt. Well, the derivative of tan theta is secant square theta times d th theta dt is equal to dx dt. So from here, we can find what d theta dt is. And so we can write d theta dt, the rate of change of angle is basically equal to 1 over secant squared theta times dx dt. So we are given dx dt, which is 10 meters per second. We need to find at this instance what is the value of secant theta, right? 
So from here, oh, we can actually get our answer. So we can say, what is d theta dt when x is equal to 3? So when x is 3, secant, it will be ratio of hypotenuse to adjacent side. So what is hypotenuse? Let's calculate this. It will be square of these two added together. So 3 square is 9 plus 9 square, which is 81 square root, right? Which is 90 or can be written as 3 square root 10. So clearly, from here, we do get that secant theta equals to hypotenuse, which is 3 square root 10 over the base, which is 3. Rather, it is equal to square root of 10, right? So that is the value of secant theta. Now here we can substitute this value for secant theta and dx dt and get the value for d theta over dt. So we have 1 over square root 10 for secant theta. Since it is square, we'll square it times dx dt is given to us as 10. Now that makes 10 divided by 10 as 1. So we have 1 radian per second as the answer for rate of change of angle in this situation. Is that clear to you? Right. So, so I hope that helps you to understand how we have found our answer. So basically, we identified a point here at the instance when x is equal to 3. So at this instance, the horizontal x distance is 3, the y distance is 3 square, which is 9. Hypotenuse will be square of 3 plus square of 9, which is 9 plus 81, which is 90. Square root of 90 is 9 times 10. Square root of 9 is 3. So we get 3 square root 10. From here, we find that the secant theta will be hypotenuse over the edges inside x, which is 3. So 3 square root 10 divided by 3 gives us square root 10 as the value of secant theta. Since we want to find rate of change of the angle theta, we wrote the equation tan theta in terms of ratio of y and x, which simplifies to x. Now, when you differentiate that with respect to time, you get secant square theta equals to dx dt. Secant square theta d theta dt equals to dx dt. From here, you can always simplify and get the value of d theta dt, right? So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.